finally back with these Dharma videos that I missed. If you're wondering, yes, there is a Christmas tree on my bed. Yes, there is a Christmas tree on my bed. The, the, the reason why is because I had lights up there, but they fell basically after like a video or two. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna put a tree on my bed. So there's a fake tree on my bed. <laughs> it's just gonna sit there for these two videos and then I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have it, obviously, for like the Christmas spirit and stuff. Um, my house is really goodly, goodly. I just say goodly, really well decorated. I can take a video or a photo for you guys if you want. Yeah, I'll probably just take take a video around the house if if, if you guys want to see it. A little tour. Um, but yeah, this video is going to be Darman. Um, it feels like I haven't watched a Darman video in a while because I actually haven't. I actually have not filmed a video in like probably over a week now. Um, this is going to be bodybuilders make fun of a little person featuring dwarf mum dwarf mamba. I have no idea who Dwarf Mamba is. Obviously, it's going to be a short person. Um, and the poor guy probably actually experiences this because usually Darman uh, makes these things off of like real things. Let me just shut the door. Normally, Darman makes these videos off of like real stuff. By the way, Thai Cats are going to play on Sunday for the Grey Cup. I'm probably going to do a Grey Cup preview of it. So stay tuned for that too if you guys care about sports. If not, well then I guess you can ignore the video. But I will be doing a video on that hopefully tomorrow, Friday, December 10th. The game is Sunday, November, Sunday, December 12th. It'll be a hell of a game. Anyways, let's not worry about that right now. Let's worry about this. So again, it's featuring Dwarf Mumba. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens here. Let's go guys. I can't, I can't do that for shit. I forgot what that's called. Dumbbell or something? Dumbbell raise? It's not that. What is it? What is it? Honestly, that's just hard though. Get a lot of this guy. Hey fellas, how many more sets do you have left? Uh, for what? For bench. Bench press. Right? That's so funny. You, he you he, he has arms. No offense, but uh, can you even reach the bar? <laughs> yeah. Do you think I have muscles like these without lifting? <laughs> Bro, are those muscles have... <laughs> or mosquito bites? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're all done. You can use it. But uh, just try not to hurt yourself. Don't worry about those guys. Their barks are way meaner than their bites. Let me help you with this. Thanks. I'm Roman. Yeah, are I you can't. A personal trainer here? I, I can't bench press for uh, sure. I used to be. Now I'm just Earl, the guy that helps unrack the weights. Just in case you ever think about competing, in six weeks we're having this annual. Oh, I'm already registered. That's why I've been training every day. That's great. You know what? Train hard because this year they raised the grand prize to ten. Shit. In my day, I want that. We were lucky if we got ten bucks. Oh, I don't care about the money. The winner gets sponsored by Gymshark. To me, it's more important than anything. It shows I can finally shine as an athlete, not just as a little person. With that being said, I better knock out these pull-ups. I like your dedication. Have a great workout. Box that pull -ups. That's adorable. Who cares? Will you guys leave me alone? I'm trying to train. I must have been kind of impressed you could do pull ups at all. Me too. But then again, it can't be that hard to lift yourself up when you weigh 12 pounds. <laughs> you might sit up my set! Be careful. Damn. Little guy's got a short temper, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's get back to it. I'll just take this. No. That's so mean. Why would you do that? Like, why do you care so much? Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Just some guys are making some comments, just trying to shake it off. You know what? Ignore them. All right? You want to win this competition, you can't worry about anyone else. You got to be focused on you. All right. Thanks. You know if this is good protein? Yeah, this is one of my favorites. The macro split is perfect for a cutting cycle. 
which is great right before a show. Hmm. You seem to really know your stuff. Have you competed before? Well, I had my dream about being a champion, but I could never place higher than second, and I'm not the type of guy that loses very well, so, yeah, after a while I just gave up. And that's why I also decided to stop being a personal trainer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I don't think you should stop training others just because you didn't win. Nah, I just figured if I can't win for me, then I'm no use to anyone else. <sighs> Credit card companies. <laughs> Always wanting their money. I'll tell you, Roman. Racking weights doesn't pay as well as winning competitions. I'll be right back. Whoa, careful. Don't pour too much now. What do you care? I think I know what I'm doing. Just a little tip. Um, you want about one gram of protein for every pound you weigh. So, there. That should be enough for you. I want to be entering a competition if I didn't know anything about nutrition. Damn. Wait. Don't tell me you are entering the bodybuilding competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Do you even know who won the competition last year? No. Who do you think? Mm. And he's gonna win it again this year. I think it's gonna be a new winner this year. <laughs> Damn. Oh, no. The mighty dwarf's gonna beat me. <laughs> hey, at least the little guy dreams big, right? Oh man, <laughs> look. Even if I wasn't entering the competition, I'd still go just to watch him embarrass himself on stage. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on everyone's faces. <laughs> hey, Roman! <laughs> hey, Roman, wait up! Everything all right? Man, I, I saw you throw away this flyer. I'm not doing a competition anymore. What? what? Dude, you told me you've been training so hard for this. Don't let him get to you. Don't let him get to you. It's not like I'm going to win anyways. Did Devin and Joe say something to you? Man, Give you got to stop letting those guys get under your skin. Those guys are just two big bullies. Yeah, I know I tried, but they're right. I'm just going to humiliate myself on stage. Let's face it. People like me don't win fitness competitions. Why not? I'll only ever be seen as a little person. Well, you're never going to know if you quit now. You quit. So I'll just be like you. He just got you there. He, yeah, did, go. he did get you there. You can't really say anything because you quit too, so you can't really At say At least shit. I tried. Just more than you're ever going to be able to say. Oh, damn. You want to know why I started weightlifting in the first place? Let me tell you something. You see? My entire life, everywhere I've gone, People have laughed at me. They've called me names. They've said care? every mean thing that you possibly think of. I started thinking that nobody would ever see me as anything more than a little person. But then, I ran into a bodybuilder. And I noticed how the only thing anyone cared about was how big his muscles were. That was the moment I decided I was going to start lifting weights. So you see... I thought maybe if I lifted weights, people would see me as something more. But I realized I'm always going to be looked at as a little person in people's eyes. And I can't change that. Maybe there is something you can do. What's that? Well, you can prove to those two guys that they were wrong to ever underestimate you. Mm -hmm. And Roman, man, you can prove to the world that you're more than just a little person by winning this competition. You think I can win? I don't think. I know. I tell you what. Meet me here tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. He's gonna train oh, him. Let's just say I'm coming out of retirement to be your trainer. And with that, Roman was back in the competition. The next day, Earl starts training with Roman to get him ready for the show. Determined to prove people wrong, Rowan trains harder than he's ever trained before. With Earl's support, Roman is able to lift more weight and do more reps. Before long, 
Roman starts to make a lot of gains. What's At happening? Home, Earl helps prepare all of Roman's meals each week. Everything is carefully measured to help Roman build muscle and look as good as possible for the competition. And it all seems to be working. Roman starts making gains and looking better than ever. He keeps putting in the hard work in the gym and trains every single day. Whenever he gets tired, Earl reminds him why he's doing this in the first place and it motivates Roman to keep going. Before long, Roman was ready for the competition. All right, ladies yeah, just and because you're short, like, what does that mean? Yeah. Like, you're shorter, so what? Can we have Dev? It's going to be the other Billy. Joe and Roman. Roman, I'll step forward, please. Yeah, Roman! Thank at? you for coming out, fellas. You all did an amazing job. Now for the judge's final decision. Let's see a quarter turn to the right. Front double bicep. Side chest. Back lat spread. Relax while I wait on the judge's decision. For third place, Joe! Third? Will the last two contestants step forward, please? So is this like the winner or like what is this? Is this for second place? Roman. Mm. That's still not too bad. That means Deb is the grand prize winner of ten thousand dollars and a sponsorship with Jim Shop. I kind of thought that was going to happen, not going to lie. I thought he'd come in second, which is fine. It's not bad. Hey, I'm sorry you didn't get first, but man, you did great. Oh, bring it here. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. You mind if we get out of here? That's my goal. Sure. Hey, Roman. Even this guy's bigger than you. <laughs> oh, nice, bro. Was, sorry, I kind of lagged a bit there. out there. Kevin, head of athlete relations at Oh shit. I saw your performance tonight. My whole team is really interested in you. You're exactly the type of athlete Jim Shark likes to work with. What? You're joking. I'm dead serious. If you have a few moments, we can talk about signing to a sponsorship. Oh shit. We have an upcoming campaign that we love to make you the face of. That's is awesome. Is it campaign for little people or something? No, not at all. All we care about is your athleticism. That's what stands out the most. And after this campaign, the whole world will see it too. You don't know how much this means to me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sorry you didn't get in first place, but I got something sweeter than that. It's a 25 grand check for signing bonus. Oh, shit. I can't believe this is happening. Goosebumps. Fuck, that's a lot. This is all because of you. You pushed me to win. Uh, all I did was give you a little nudge. You did all the work. You had it in you all along. Oh, sorry guys, I gotta take this call. Hello, yeah? I'd like to pay off a debt, please. Do you really think I can make it as a valid answer? So he, uh, uh, the, the, I don't know his name. What's his name? Mamba, I think is his name is. It's this dwarf Mamba. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna go with Mamba. 
So I think Mamba's gonna pay off the guy's debt, which is really cool with him, with the money that he got because basically the guy pushed him, right? So he's basically rewarding him by giving him money. Honestly, that was a really good one. I am a bit tired, so I didn't really say too, too much, but honestly, that was bullies. Like, who cares if you're short or shorter? Like, what does being short have to do with anything? Like, as if... Like, uh, like as if being, like... Like, as if being, like, disabled or something, like, makes you stupid. No. Being tall makes you, I don't know, a giant. No, not, like, you're just taller than, pe than other people. So what? You're shorter than other people. Like, what does that, what does that have to do with anything? That doesn't mean you're bad at this, you're bad at that, you're bad at... No. Like, I don't understand why people just think, oh, you're short, you can't do this at all because you're short. Bitch, I can do whatever the fuck you can do. I don't care what... I don't, like, who, who, who cares about height? Like, you can't be in the NBA, but, you know what I mean? Like, you can still be a really good... Well, why, why, why the fuck did I just say NBA? They're not playing basketball. Yo, 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 yo. And, like, he was really muscular, too. Like, I got nothing. <laughs> Like, I don't really consider myself tall at tall, either. I'm 5'8", which obviously, I guess that's average-ish, but I think I'm just, I still should be t taller, but... Anyways, it doesn't really matter how tall you are, you can still do anything that you want to do. It, again, basically, this is a, a, just a video basically saying you can do whatever you choose to do. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, and if someone tries to, you just say, fuck you, I'm just gonna do it, and then do it, you know what I mean? Like, you prove them wrong. Because pro proving pe people wrong honestly feels better, because then... Or even, like, just trying, you know what I mean? Like, just trying. Like, those bullies should have give, uh, give, given credit where credit is due. Like, it's not like he got third, which even if he did, that's not bad. Like, so what? Your third place, big fucking whoop. Like, he still got to the final three, basically the final, final two, because he was second place. And, and they were still being dicks about it. Like, why are you being such a douche? I don't, I don't see the point in being so rude to him for no reason. Like, he didn't do anything to you. He will be minding his own business, did not do anything. The only thing he said to you in the beginning is, hey, are you guys done using this? And ah, ha, ha, ha. Like, at least he's at the gym. Like, he's doing something with his life. Like, why do you care? Why do you care what somebody else does? Or why do you care how good he does? Like, are you jealous that he'll do better than you? Like, what's the issue? That's the way I'm looking at it. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to comment down below what you guys thought. And be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications as well if you have not done so already. And again, don't judge pe people because they could literally beat you. Like, I had a feeling that he, he, he wouldn't come in first, maybe second or something. But again, that's still good. Like, you still competed, you still tried, you still got second place. Like, like second is not the worst. First is, well, well, first technically is the best. But, like, second's not the worst. Like, like you know, saying first is the worst. Oh, wait, no. First is the worst, second is the best. Yeah, okay. First is the worst, second is the best. So, you see, he's the best. Plus, he got a $25,000 signing bonus where the other guy won $10,000 only. So he went $15,000 more, he'll be on the cover of, of the magazine or whatever it said. So in a sense, he won. I don't think that was based on a true, true story. But either way, that one was a good video. Again, just goes, goes to show that you shouldn't judge anybody based on height or anything for that matter, being overweight, you know, your face, like how you look like. It, it, it doesn't matter to be honest. It really does not matter. With that being said, that's going to be the end of this video. Again, I'll see you guys later with another drama video that I missed. And... Yeah, that's really gonna be it. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Deuces.